first met Maurice Javier Hubbard in late 2016, bringing musical joy during the interludes between trains. He's still at it today on the Washington Blue Line platform, though his music and where he plays it is growing. He's only 24, largely self-taught, plays the classics, but he's also a music maker, meshing different genres, Baroque folk, hip hop, marrying the sounds of Ireland and Nashville. Bach is still my favorite artist. You know, I just, anything he's made, I can listen to forever. Um, and it still influences my art as I go into hip hop and become a rapper and become a singer and become a producer. You know, I always go back to the originals. Recently, as I've been exploring new genres, I'm getting all types of people from all races, all age groups coming up to me and telling me, I've never heard this before, but I want to hear more. He's just dropped his first album under his performing name, Lapzul. But what's more, Maurice is among this year's nominees for a Chicago Music Award as Best Classical Entertainer. The award winners to be announced next month. The nomination is beyond honor. There's two other nominees who have won Grammys. One of them's won twice. I don't know if I'm gonna win this year, I hope, but if not, you know, at least I've been associated with greatness. The future is as boundless as his music. Wherever it takes him, playing the subway will always be a part, for there are few better places to connect. I feel if you are an artist, what you should be having is a connection to people. If people can connect to you and your art, you're succeeding. So let the trains pass for a listen. Paul Mikey. ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC 7 Chicago YouTube channel.